hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your Waxing Moon reading, which is happening on the 20th of April. Now the Waxing Moon is the time between the New Moon and the Full Moon that we work really hard towards, okay, getting our, um, getting our goals to, um, to fruition, to get that manifestation, to actually manifest in the real world, in the 3D um, also, the full moon is all about closing out of cycles. So this is about releasing all of the stuff that you don't want to take into the next cycle. Also, the next new, uh, sorry, the next full moon is the 27th of April and it's the full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio energy is all about death and rebirth. So this, to me, it feels like this waxing period is a very significant time because we just had the new moon in Aries, which is the big beginning of all of these new things. And now the next full moon where we close out stuff is um, the full moon in Scorpio, which is the death of everything before and the rebirth of something brilliant and new. So your main energy around yourself for this period, Sagittarius, is star mother. How can you mother yourself? Now, to me, this is a very, very significant card, especially for people like us. Um, I'm Sagittarius as well. We tend to, we are so happy when other people are happy, right? And because we are happy people and very strong people, we tend to not necessarily look at ourselves in that way of mothering ourselves. And I have noticed the last few months, it is imperative for us to practice self-love, to give ourselves the TLC that we need. And I feel with this waxing period, we really, really, really need to take care of ourselves. Okay, so I'm just going to pack the spread here. And then as we go along, I will tell you what each card is about. Right. So, Sash, let's see. What is rising up in you between now and the full moon? Whoa, I like that. You're very close to achieving your goal, Sagittarius. Okay, so remember what I said. The waxing period is the, the time between the new moon and the full moon, where we work toward, towards um, realizing our goals. And the new moon, oh, sorry, the next full moon is the 27th of April. <laughs> That's not very far away, right? So, we are very close to achieving our goal, Sag. So, what I feel is you're so close to achieving your goal. Spend a little bit more time on giving yourself the love that you need and a little bit less time on manifesting this because you're really, really close. There's time. We, we, don't, we don't very often... Um, get to the point where we can say we have time, right? That's awesome. Okay, what's the solution to a challenge that you face right now? Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay, so Cancer is all about, about family, about um, bonds and relationships and um, like immediate close family. And whenever I get this card, I always feel like it's this is speaking to your immediate family, your 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 significant other, your kids, your um if you're still in if you still live with your parents, it's it would be your parents and your siblings or what whatever the case might be. And I feel here that you are so close to achieving your goal, and this is like one of the very last little things that you need to close out within yourself, that fear of, okay, if I take this leap of faith, is my family going to be okay? Are we going to be okay financially? Will I be able to feed my family? Would I, would I be able to provide my family with a roof over their heads? Will my family be okay in terms of if I do decide to go the soul path and, and, and get into a spiritual practice, what would, what would, my, what would, the, what my, what would the, my, my kids' friends at school think of them? Would they be okay? And with this, this is a challenge that you're facing and Luna is telling you, you and your loved ones are perfectly safe. You have nothing to worry about, Saj. Okay, so your advice... Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay, so what I feel with this is, this is the mutable moon. What I feel here is, whatever you've been planning, nothing is yet set in stone. So this can be one of two things and I'm getting both of them. I'm getting like, yes, you might be really close to achieving your goal. 
but don't back down. Don't lose focus on that. Yes, mother yourself, love yourself, but don't lose focus of your manifestation because you're so close to achieving your goal that you might slag and say, okay, no, it's fine. Um, it's going to happen. Nothing is yet set in stone. Anything can still happen, Sagittarius. So even though you're going to give yourself a little bit more attention, do not lose your focus. Keep your focus on the, keep your eye on the prize because anything can happen you and you might still lose this. The other thing is when you need to tweak your plan a little bit, when you have to like make an adjustment here or there, nothing is yet set in stone. So it's safe for you to make adjustments to your plan. Okay. So I'm getting both of those. It's a general reading. So take whatever resonates with you. Right, and your final outcome, your commitment is being tested. Okay, and because of that card, how can you mother yourself? This commitment that's being tested is the commitment towards yourself. Because if you're not committed to yourself, you can't be committed to anyone or anything else in your life. You have to start with you. As within, so without. So your commitment is being tested, Sagittarius. How committed are you to yourself? I'll see you on the flip side.